Coding made easy. Uh, hello everybody and welcome to your 10th SDL 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about our final event for now and then we'll we'll, re we'll revisit events a bit later because I suspect you guys are pretty bored with events uh, right now. Uh, so before we even start this tutorial, uh, based on the game controller API controller last tutorial, uh, there were three other functions that I missed out. Uh, missed out on that I think that you guys may find useful sometime uh, along your SDL journey. Uh, it was the update function which allows you to update the controller even if you're not in a loop. Uh, so if you just need to get like a single button press or something, uh, there's um, the and there was getting the the mapping name for the uh, for the button and the axes. So if you want to create your own mappings. Uh, that would be a helpful tool for you but that's all in the source code uh, so if you check github on my website you can uh, get the source code for that uh, so uh, in this tutorial we're gonna uh, be learning about getting text input in SDL uh, it's useful if you want to have say a chat system where you want the user to input something in the game um, it's a cool little feature to add so it's sort of sort of an addition to the the, the key down event uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty string called text and then below that we're going to say start text input sdl underscore start text input and that allows us to it's self explanatory it allows us to start the text input and obviously we have a stop text input now there's also a sdl set text input rect but we haven't learned about SDL Rex yet. So if I remember when we're when I when I'm teaching about SDL Rex, um, I'll show you how to display. It gives you sort of a rectangle on on the rectangular area where you can actually input text. Uh, but even if I don't get to explain it, it's self-explanatory. Just ask for a rectangle and that's it. Um, so the event is as follows so we're going to say ev type sdl uh, text input and what we're going to do is what should be else if sorry so when we get text input we're just going to say text plus equals ev dot text dot text and that's just going to get our text and what we're going to do is we're just going to use a system command i know a lot of people complain about this stuff and saying that Blah, blah 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 it's not safe yada yada it depends on your operating system yeah I understand uh, but we're not going for safety and all that stuff we're just trying to test this out um, in our program so if you're on Windows what you need to do is put CLS to clear the console window if you're on uh, on a Unix based system so Mac or Linux you're just gonna put clear to clear the terminal uh, to clear the terminal window and what we're gonna do is just say okay see out text so what this is gonna do is that every single time we get some new text is gonna clear the console window add the text and then re rewrite it to the console window so it's gonna look like we're continuously writing text uh, so let's run this program uh, we don't have an image cause we don't need one and if you check the console window I'm gonna say my oh is Peter Henry so I meant to say my name and as you can see uh, the text input it, it takes in spaces and and, and stuff like that uh, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't take enter or doesn't take backspace so for right now we're just going to be uh, taking in backspace and later on if you want to do your own enter stuff and all that stuff you can do that so what we're going to do is we're going to say okay if the ev type is equal to that or the ev type is equal to sdl uh, button or sdl button down I believe it is sorry it's sdl key down so I'm really tired it's like it's almost 6 6 a.m. in the morning here um, so we'll say it's SDL key down and so what we're going to do is we're going to say okay if the uh, if the key that we press 
Well, first of all, first of all, before we even check the key that we pressed, we actually we're checking for two different events events right now. So we want to make sure that we're actually using um, getting the right event. So we're gonna say if SDL if the event type is SDL key down, and the key we're getting uh, is equal to uh, SDL SDLK uh, backspace and uh, the text the length of the text is greater than zero then we're going to say text is equal to text substring zero text dot length minus one and that's just going to erase the last letter uh, from the end of the uh, the end of the string and then we're just going to say okay else if ev dot type is equal to sdl text input then we're going to add uh, to the text and we'll just put the clear screen at the top and we'll have to see it at the bottom now the reason why we have to say we can't just put else we have to put um, SDL text input is that if we just put else whenever we um, the backspace is considered a key so it's just gonna say okay it's not this one right but you still enter the key so it's going to try to add the backspace to the text which obviously doesn't uh, the ascii values is a weird symbol so that that's a, that's not what we want so we're going to say okay if the type is text input which the back text the backspace sorry is not a part of text input then add that to the text so if you press anything if you press any letter any ASCII, ascii value or space add that to the text Otherwise, uh, check for a backspace and then whatever. So let's run this program uh, to see what we get. So my, oh, oops, I screwed up. Backspace. And we can erase it. AKA coding made easy. And voila, so we got something typed in the console window uh, but most likely not going to be typing the console window but you can do uh, you can store in the string and do whatever you need to do with it in your game uh, or in your application so anyways that's it for this tutorial I uh, hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment and subscribe like my page on Facebook and follow on Twitter and don't forget to sign up on our website as well so thanks and bye for now